Hey, Steve Noble, Noble Moto. Today, we're going to look at siphoning things and how to make a siphon. So, lots of reasons you'll have to siphon fluid out of tanks, containers, or whatnot. A lot of people like to take the hose and they like to suck on it to get the siphon flowing. If you're into motorcycles and you're trying to do this with gasoline, don't do that. You're going to end up with a gasoline eating a hole in your brain and nobody wants that. We have a jar here with water with blue food coloring in it. So what we're going to do, or what the keys really are, is you need to get the fluid out of the jar, and then you need to have a notable amount of it below the container. What you're trying to do is get enough of it down here that it begins to go down the tube. And then as it goes down the tube, because it's being pulled by gravity, it creates a vacuum in here, an empty space, because the gravity is stronger. So that needs to be filled with fluid. And there's atmospheric air pushing down on the top of the fluid. So it's going to force the fluid up through the tube and down through where that vacuum is. And this will basically continue eternally as long as you have enough fluid in the hose that's hanging down below the fluid level. So we have a section of hose here. We're going to put this down into the container. I'm going to put a decent amount of it down in there. I want to make sure the other end doesn't pop back up out of there. But maybe you can see it, but the other end of the hose is right about there. So what I did was I shoved this all the way down in there. This way the hose itself fills up with this water, this blue colored water. Now I'm going to take my thumb, cap off the top of it, just like the drinking straw in the water trick. And we're going to pull this hose right up on out of there. Whoop. And there you can see there's a whole bunch of fluid inside that hose. Meanwhile, the other end of the hose is right here at the bottom of this mason jar. So since I have a bunch of fluid down below the level of the mason jar, I can then take my right thumb off the hose. And it drains all the water out. And this will pretty much continue eternally until air gets in there. There you have it. That's all I got.